All right, so you guys have been learning about the buoyant force, which to me, I think that's one of the most difficult forces to understand. So one good use of buoyant force is the life jacket. Some of you wrote about that for your mini poster last week. So here is an example of one. So this type of life jacket is made for paddling sports like kayaking or canoeing. So it's the foam inside is not very dense. So density explains one reason why when you fall in the water, the less dense foam floats more to the top than your body. So it floats and keeps your head above water. Now, buoyant force. Remember, the buoyant force is the weight of the displaced water. So compared to just your body, this life jacket makes like this much water get displaced. Say that much water weighs, I don't know, 12 pounds. That means when you're floating in the water, the buoyant force is pushing you up 12 pounds worth in the upward direction. So as long as the weight force and buoyant force are equal, you will be floating. Let me show you another type of life jacket. So here is another type of life jacket that if you go sailing or you're in a boat a lot and you don't want stuff in your way, you wear this type. It's really small. Right now, is it gonna displace a lot of water if I fall overboard? No. So this type, you need to pull this little string or some of these automatically inflate if you fall overboard. And inside is a CO2 cartridge of compressed gas like we've been talking about lately. And it will burst open these and show you this yellow part so it's easy for someone to see you and rescue you and it would automatically inflate if it doesn't work or some of the air comes out later there's a little tube where you can manually inflate it by blowing air in well, let me do that so you can see what it looks like As you can see, this thing is massive. So still in the back, there's not much there, just a little thing to support your neck. So if you fall overboard and you're out in the ocean where like waves are gonna wash over your head, this kind of is the best. It displaces a, a huge amount of water. This way, this much water, if you're in the ocean, weighs like 35 pounds. So it's gonna be pushing you up with a lot of buoyant force and hopefully save your life. It's got reflective tape, a whistle to help find people who are trying to rescue you, easily seen compared to the water. So this is great for offshore. Now, some people cannot help at all and they have to be rescued. That would include a baby represented by this hairy little baby here so they have a life jacket usually it's bigger to keep them a little bit warm the back has no puff in it at all it's all in the front so that if a baby falls in the water they flip up like this and are trying to make a big surface area so people looking for them can look for the biggest size the baby can be. Check it out. It also has this little neck support pillow that pops up, because if you've ever seen a really small baby, they cannot control their neck muscles and their head would just be going everywhere. So that's pretty cool. This kind also has a little hook. So if you get close to them in the boat, you can use a hook and like pick up the baby. Another important thing is it also has a little strap going around between the legs called a crotch strap. Not too comfortable probably, but if not, if you pick the baby up by the loop, they would probably just like be
be squashed outward and they would be floating away in the water. Infant life jacket. Now, if you have pets, they also make dog life jackets. So I don't have a dog, so here is a toy sheep. So kind of like the babies, it has a little handle so that you can pick it up. So the life jackets help you float by displacing water and the weight of the displaced water is the buoyant force that pushes you up higher. Be safe in the water, kids.